Hey everybody, welcome back to Mix. Today I'm going to show you how I take down a protective style on Zora. Hey girls, you ready to get your hair done today? No. No, yes and no? Maybe so? Maybe. <laughs> no. See you in our video. Yeah. So Zora's hair had been in these ponytails with two strand twists for I think about five or six days and we had not done anything to it. I was actually out of town and so nobody touched her hair. So I start by carefully loosening the rubber bands and the hair ties. Now if you're using rubber bands you should use either scissors or a thread cutter to cut the rubber bands but I was at our new house and I didn't have those things so I just loosened them very very carefully now if you use rubber bands closer to the scalp you should also clip cut them out but I used hair ties so I'm carefully removing these hair ties while making sure not to yank at any hairs that may have gotten wrapped up in them and there's some lint right here at the base of these ponytails now i'm going to separate the hair from the twists and also kind of scratch at or pull at the lint that gets caught at the base there's lots of build up there dirt oils and lint always seems to find its way there and so i like to pull it out with my fingernails or with a comb before i move on to the next section And I just have to show you close up why I love these hair ties. They're so soft. There is no so clasp beautiful. or glue connection that eventually snags at their hair. So that's why I tend to use these hair ties closer to the scalp where I really don't want tension or pulling. So it's kind of hard to see here, but you see how there's lint and buildup here at the base, even some red thread from somewhere. This can be even worse if you're taking down something like braids or a style that you've had in for a long time. So I always like to make sure to get that build up out before I wet her hair. Because once you start wetting the hair or you go to wash the hair, any build up that's there at the root tends to lock up and tangle really badly and it can be very hard at that time to then comb through the hair and you may end up experiencing more breakage than you experiencing more breakage than you need. So now I'm gonna go through her hair section by section. We're gonna prepare for washing it. And I just spray some water and I detangle starting from the bottom and working my way to the root of her hair. Now her hair is not very tangled because it's been in this protective style, but there are some knots here and there. So I'm gonna go through it. And if you look, just look with me for a moment at the condition of her hair. This is no product in almost a week and her hair is still shiny and moisturized. So this is one of the reasons why I'm so big on these protective styles. And while they're not always like the fanciest or the cutest style after a few days, it's really good for her hair and her hair health to not be manipulated and to just stay in these protective styles more often than not. So while you'll see her hair in cute styles, um, sometimes I'd say the majority of the time we are team protective style and there is no shame in that. So now I'm just two strand twisting off sections that I've combed and detangled so that it's ready to be washed when it's time to go wash her hair. And here we are, we did it. This whole process took about 20 minutes, but I promise you if I would have skipped it and gone straight to shampooing, it would have taken me a lot longer to detangle after the fact. Tell me what your guys' detangling process is and how you remove protective styles down in the comments. And please like and subscribe if you like our content. Thank you so much for watching.